I shall rule this world. There are plenty of ways to do it. And I mean, that's essentially what happened. Bang, like, it, I mean, it's bang, been plenty of times bang, I've seen niggas. Bang, I'm like, damn, you gonna let her get away with bang, that? Bang. Damn, you gonna let her, like, you know, uh, I think what yesterday I just seen a cat on. Um, I think the same center dude was doing a little show, and he was talking about this cat that you know his chick get to go out and go smash up the dudes. Colin, what's going on? Get him I heard what you said. I, 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 I didn't know if you, you knew this. No, I'm just asking you what's going on. Didn't I get that. Get I, wanna, I don't know why you're not listening to me. No hair. Let's back up for a second. I just, <laughs> just want to get clarity. Mm -hmm. Something. You, you hear what you're saying out loud, brother? What happened? Who said it? Mm -hmm. Why are you up? Because I got some important shit going on here. What do you think? Boom, the world class. So let's do this. What uh did y'all might have came a little late? She had touched on the first topic. First, the first thing she said was first thing Savannah said was <laughs> how these guys in this space are getting on panel saying that the women have all the power. Have y'all uh seen that in this space? And what is your thought of thought process about that period? The women have the power in this space or just to have the power in general? They they say in general. They just, you know. Yeah. They don't, I mean, I, I don't feel like no women have no power over me. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I, I guess, again, I mean, we got to remember who we talking about, though. I always start this off with, I didn't know niggas wasn't having sex until I came into this space. That's so fair. I'm not familiar with these niggas. I don't, I'm not familiar with their lifestyles or what they go through in life. You feel me? Um. I would say that, um, and we've talked Have about you, this before. That go ahead. No, no, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so I think you know some of the laws and some of the protections and some of the bullshit that's going on has fucked shit up. But that just means you got to stay in no business even more. And I think the problem with a lot of these niggas is they be so happy to get a chick that it's they over. turn into the chick to not lose her. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. And I mean, that's essentially what happened. Bang, like, it, I mean, it's bang, been plenty of times bang, I've seen niggas. Bang, I'm like, damn, you gonna let her get away with bang, that? Bang. Damn, you gonna let her, like, you know, uh, I think what yesterday I just seen a cat on. Um, I think the same center dude was doing a little show, and he was talking about this cat that you know his chick get to go out and go smash up the dudes. Colin, what's going on? Get him I heard what you said. I, 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 I didn't know if you, you knew this. No, I'm just asking you what's going on. I get that. Get I, wanna, I don't know why you're not listening to me. No hair. Let's back up for a second. I just, <laughs> just want to get clarity. Mm -hmm. Something. You, you hear what you're saying out loud, brother? What happened? Who said it? Mm -hmm. And his 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 uh, explanation was because I get to go smash up the chicks. And what dude was saying, which was right, was I don't give a fuck what you get to do. <laughs> I have no, I don't know what that means. <laughs> and I don't want, I don't want you to keep going. Can, can we, um, can you just, just if you, yeah. you he blood let his chick go out and smash other dudes. Wow. And he, his explanation was, well, I get to go smash other chicks. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. But you still got to live with the fact that somebody knocking your chick down. Like, the fuck? Who made this goddamn shit? Better than you. Pre, but yeah, exactly. Because if you was handling it the right way, she wouldn't be looking for another one again. So, oh my god, of course, of course, it was a white dude. So you know, they 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 had a little you know situation shit. But I'm just saying, you feel me? Like that that's the type of shit that a lot of these cats is 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 participating in, and they think the shit is cool because, hey, I mess with other. And and to be honest with you, you really ain't messing with other chicks. She knocking other dudes down, and you going home beating your shit off. Like to be 100 with you, like. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it sounds good because she said, hey, you can go ahead and do it too. Because she know you ain't got no options to do it. Because trust me, she ain't about to be comfortable with you just, you feel me? Like, come on, man. But, 
you know, that that's the type of dudes that we're dealing with in this space. You feel me? Just, you know, and we've all had conversations with them, been frustrated with them and shit like that. And then we get looked at a, a, a weird ass way because we call them out on their bullshit. But I think it all starts with, you know, with the confidence and shit, though. You know, like we said, half of these motherfuckers are scared to talk to a chick. That's confidence. And like what you were saying, Noble, is, you know, where we come from, like part of it is being, you know, uh, uh, confident and part of it is being brave. And I tell people all the time, you know, when you when you in elementary school and in and, and, um, and, uh, middle school and you had them butterflies, for us, we had to get over that shit because it was like currency for us to have chicks. So as much as nervous as a motherfucker was to go into a chick, well, I can't get one unless I holler at one. And my partner's back there just told me, you better go holler at old girl and see if you get the number. So either I'm going to not do it and be called all kinds of bitches, or I'm going to just go over here and if she reject me, fuck it, they going to laugh at me, but you feel me? And so it's, it's, I think that's what them cats don't understand is that's the environment that we grew up in where we pressured each other to go holler at chicks. So we almost got pushed past that boundary that a lot of these dudes are stuck behind. I didn't have a choice to be stuck behind that banner of being scared to talk to a chick. Because if I did, I'd have been looked at as a clown and we'd talk shit and yada, yada, yada. I'd participate in it too. If one of my niggas said they wasn't going to talk, we'd tow his ass up. That's what we did. you know. And then, like you said, with the competition, we had competition getting numbers and all of that shit. All so that. That. that's what kind of bred us into what we had to do. And in doing so, you have to adapt to, okay, well, what do women like to talk about? You feel me? To And you start learning all of that type of stuff. With a lot of these cats, you know, and it's and, and like hitting the books and all that. It's good, but it has to be a balance of doing that and having a social life or you end up socially awkward. One of the cats I talk to, and, you know, I'm kind of blunt with niggas, so I, I guess he didn't expect this. When I'm talking to him and I explain to him how, you know, the nerd is kind of socially awkward, da, 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 and he was like, well, I'm not. And I'm like, nigga, yes, you is. Like, have you seen yourself on panels, nigga? You like you socially awkward than a motherfucker. But a I'm lot not. of them don't even understand that they is. That's I'm what's not. funny. And we all see it. That's what's funny. We all see it, but they don't see it. So, so it, it's just if they feel that way, it's a them problem, to be honest with you. It's not a me problem. You know, we we the type of niggas, we don't run for problems. We figure out how to fix that shit. And they the type, you know, when you grow up in them comfortable situations, you had the luxury of running away from problems and, you know, hey, mom, hey, dad. Whereas with us, nah, nigga, we had to figure it out. I told niggas, man, I, this would get me. Niggas swear you got to have a BMW to date a chick. I literally had a chick text me the other day that I used to date that reminded me of how I used to have to tap the start on my car when we went on dates. And you niggas telling me I need a BMW. Nigga, I'm tapping the starter when we leave the restaurant to get this bitch jumping. Nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? Nigga, listen, I was in a I was drove out of hood yesterday. This nigga had the baddest motherfucking chick. And both of them speed walking to be able to catch the bus. You I, feel me? I, I, I said, I <laughs> said, this this nigga got to be laying pipe. She was, I said, God, damn. You walking up, man, you don't need no motherfucking car. All you all time and opportunity. That's what you used to. That's it. And be that's interesting. It. That's what these niggas don't understand. You niggas ain't interesting. That's all it is. All you gotta do is say the shit that they say on TV. Whatever's popular, just say it. That's it. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got lost in a train of thought of just all that goodness I just heard. Washed. They would be fools to resist my divine power. Is death worse a necessary loss? Soon I will have a new apprentice, one far younger and more powerful. Remember that, when a king is loved as I am, much can be accomplished. We didn't do this because we like you. We did this because... We are you. Being the world class.